Hello everyone and welcome to another Unity 3D Ultimate Tips and Tricks. In part 2 we are going to learn more tips and tricks about Unity 3D game engine. Also the link for part 1 is in the description. So make sure to watch the video until the end. And let's go. Do you have a large nested game object on hierarchy and you tired of clicking on each game object to expand it individually? Here is a one click solution. Just push ALT key on keyboard before clicking on the parent game object and it will expand all the nested game objects in a blink of an eye. Did you ever know starting from Unity 2019.4 or above you can speed up the interplay mode by 90%? Yes, you heard it right. To do so, just go to Edit, Project Setting, Editor and check the interplay mode options. Now you will enter into play mode blazingly fast. Did you found a good spot on your scene view and wish to have the game view camera on the exact coordinate and position of that scene view? Here is your solution. By clicking Ctrl Shift F keys simultaneously on keyboard you can align your camera to the scene view camera. This shortcut not only works as a camera aligner, but you can use it as a in editor object spawner to whatever spot that you like easily. Do you have many private variables in your C -sharp script and don't want to expose them in the inspector window, but at the same time you want to see if those variables work properly and debug them? So here's the solution. You can see all your private variables without making them public by clicking on the three dots of the inspector window and choose debug mode. Now you can see and debug those private variables. Do you have some public variables to call from another script but don't want to expose them in the inspector for some cleanup purposes? Just add hide an inspector attribute above your public variable and you will never ever see that variable in inspector window again. Did you know that you can snap game objects when moving, rotating or scaling by holding the control key on keyboard? This way you will perform those actions in a snap fashion. Do you want to change the public float variable values faster or slower? You can use shift for speeding up the value change on mouse drag or alt for slowing it down. Did you ever know that you can change your scripts even if you are in play mode? Yes, you heard it right. You can change your script value and continue to play and see the difference you made instantly without stopping the play mode. To do so, just go to edit. Preferences, General, and choose Script Change While Playing to Recompile and Continue Playing option. Did you ever know that you can undock the preview window in Unity Editor? I'm talking about this window. To do so, just click on the three dots and choose Convert to Floating window. Now you have a standalone preview window with much more room and flexibility. Do you need to follow or focus on a specific game object on scene view for some reasons? You can do that by clicking on the desired game object then pressing shift and F to focus on that specific game object. This way you will never lose your moving game object in scene view again. Alright everyone that's it for today's video, thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you didn't and like my videos if you found them useful. Also comment on my videos and ask for whatever that you might want as a tutorial and I'll do my best for you. So until the next video, cheers.